Christina at Warthog Princess and welcome to another video. This video is going to look at a variety of different brands and types of knapsacks or drawstring backpacks. And um, so I have a stack of them. Yeah, Kelly's very helpful right here. So I have a whole bunch of different ones and we're just going to run through them. Um, and then at the end we'll get to the two main ones comparing Fear Bradley with Jujubee. Hi, baby. Hi. Okay, go on. Okay, so this first one was, um, actually I got this from the Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Association. You probably have seen them as promotional items for a lot of different entities and agencies and whatnot. Um, I brought this out because there are a couple things I, I really am fond of of this. It's very, very light. It is pretty durable even though it is, um, it's not disposable, but it's a, it's a very, it's like a shopping bag fabric I've seen on some reusable shopping bags. It's not super, super durable, but it will last a while if you're good to it, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, but it has reflectors on it, which I, I find very, very useful in really most any scenario that, you know, you're camping, you're just going for a walk and you want to take some water and some snacks and just take the dog down the way. Um, it's evening, maybe sunset, and then you got people coming in and out. So it's just important to have a little reflective safety safety thing. So I have actually used this without even putting anything in the bag, but just throwing this on my back to have a little reflection when I was out walking the dog at night. You know, I don't have to put on a reflective belt and do a military style thing. I could just have a little reflection. Even if I'm wearing dark clothes, I feel a little bit safer. Someone might see me and maybe not run me over. Anyways, the other thing I like about it, it has these two very simple top handles on it. Um, and so when you, you know, you don't always want to sling it over your shoulder, but maybe you want to carry it like a little tote or something. Um, I just find that very helpful and I have used that a lot actually. And this is the only one of all of these that has that feature. But all of the bags are the same basic type of bag. They have a variety of shapes and sizes and configurations, but they're just, you know, drawstring and then you put it on your back kind of a bag. So here comes the next one. Move the shoulder. The next one is from Adidas. And now I've had this one for a very long time. This is a, a nice thick nylon material. It is not lined or anything. Um, it has, at least it had, you can see it's very well worn. It had sort of a coating on there that made it very, very wipeable and really honestly, pretty water resistant. Just kind of like a rubber layer. But this one's been through the washing machine and it's, I mean, I've had this for many, many years. And it's been all over the world and I use the heck out of it but it's just a simple drawstring there's no organization inside but on the outside there's one big zipper and this pocket is the whole front panel so it really is quite a large pocket and it was very useful there so we got that one the next one is from wounded warrior project um, yeah, and I don't think you can buy this at all, honestly. Maybe you can, I, I honestly don't know. But this one also has a couple of features that I like. Um, first of all, it's a very lightweight nylon material. You know, not see-through or anything, but like I can see light through it, so it's not dense. Um, but this front pocket also has another material like on the side, and it has its own gusset. So this is a big pocket on the front with a zipper that goes up and over and this pocket has two mesh pockets and a pen slot in the middle so nice to be able to put things and hold them inside um, this would be better if it was a double zipper pocket so then you don't have to open the whole thing all the way to get into it um, because it is big enough to hold pouches and things so but because you have to open it all the way up you might dump everything out if it wasn't in the pockets um, there so that's the one thing it does have a nice zipper pull though, nice easy grab. The other thing it has that I really, really like is if I wanted to put like a camel back in here, I can put the drinking thing through the front or you can of course run it through the top because the top is just a cinch opening. And so that's an option or you can, you know, have your earbuds or your charging cord or something going uh, through there. So some options that that gives you that some of the other bags, they don't have that. This one has just two straps. It doesn't have the two double things that you pull. It is still just a pull to close. 
The bad thing about it is it's just tethered on the end of the row, so I think that'll be a point of failure is each end of the row. And when you pull them, you know, they, they kind of go like this at the end. See that? So it's fine. You don't get quite as tight of a closure. You really don't need it on a bag like this. But then, then you have just the two straps, and it's a nice, robust, like a climbing rope. So it's, it's a little more comfortable. It's not going to cut into your shoulders. Um, not that these are really big to carry heavy stuff. But the other thing about it is it has like a clip. So you can clip the chest strap together. So depending on how it fits you, and again, these are very generously sized, and it'll sit really low on your back. But you can secure it across the front and just give it a, a little more stability for carriage, like if you're hiking or something. So just a couple of nifty features that each of these different bags had that was worth sharing since they are all different. Okay, so that one is that. Um, this one is from Under Armour. I like the bright colorfulness of it, and of course I love purple. Um, this one I had bought on the fly when I was out shopping for other things. It does have that little chest clip, same as the um, Wounded Warrior one. And it has a front pocket like that as well. Now the difference is this one has this much below the zipper, where the other one the zipper was almost to the end. So when this one opens up, it will still hold pouches down in here. It's not just going to dump everything out because it doesn't open all the way. Um, but it too has two mesh pouches, no pen slot, but very, very useful. This one um, I take, I have taken on multiple cruises. So when I'm just bopping around the ship and I want to take some things with me, maybe I'm going to go meet friends and then i got to run off to trivia and then I've got something. I'll put my iPad, some playing cards, a notebook, maybe a color book and some pencils, um, my phone, my, my little wallet, whatever I'm carrying around. You know, I'll, I'll just carry a little fun knapsack that... I can be bop around with and because it's thin I can pack it in my suitcase and it's very easy to travel but just like the other one it does have just the double drawstring and this one is more secure on the ends so even though they pull from opposite sides it comes to a full closed cinch there and then on the back it just has that under armor on the side very very well worn and it's a pretty robust material kind of like the Vera Bradley lighten up material actually now, speaking of Vera Bradley, these next two bags, well, the next several actually, but these ones specifically, these are from Vera Bradley, and these two were actually gifts with purchase. So I got these for free, and free is always good, right? Um, these are the Drawstring Back Sack. The first one is Eden Paisley Black. It retails for $35, uh, but like I said, it was a gift with purchase. Um, you can actually buy this bag or ones like it at the outlets, the factory style. So there you go. But it's just a black and white paisley pattern and it has the VB diamond on it. Very simple double drawstring, very much like the first one, but no, no carrying handles or anything. It's just very straightforward. And it is a thin nylon material. I think it will have some water resistance, if not waterproof, but it's because it feels like it has like a coating on it. But yeah, unlined, etc. This one is the same thing except in pink, Eden Paisley pink. So it's pink and white. There you go. Um, the next one I have is, is definitely a factory style. It is in Lotus Flower Swirl. So same type of thing, it's just a basic back sack, except that this one is in the lighten up material. So it's a little different feel to it, a little more texture than the smooth ones but also unlined, very simple, straightforward. These are also great. You can kind of use them as a, a, a big ditty bag as well. Obviously it's not optimized for that, but they work really, really well for that. So when I'm traveling, sometimes I'll put shoes or something in there that I wanna keep a little bit separate from the rest of my stuff. These next two are both exactly the same, but two different patterns. And these are from the retail side. Um, and one is in the Go Fish, and one is in Splash Dot. These are both lighten up, and they are a thicker, more robust lighten up than the outlet style bag was. But these were also called the back sack. But these ones have a little more organization, and the straps are not like a round rope or, or anything. They're actually a nice woven strap. 
They have um, adjustability, very normal adjustability here. The loose end has a little ring around it, so it will, you know, you can slide it so you don't have loose things flying around. Um, so it has some adjustability that way in addition to, you know, just having the straps. Now these are very stiff because I haven't actually used them and they're just newer lighting up. So there they go, but they're very nice. So they have a loop on the upper as well that, that also keeps things. Then inside you have a, you can't see it very well because it's a little farther down, but there's actually a zipper pocket inside each of these. It is also lined, so it's a thicker exterior and more robust, plus it also has that nylon lining as well. So these are a little bit up in class from the other ones. Um, and then it also has a zipper pocket on the front, and this pocket is that whole bottom half of the bag, so it would cover this whole section. So it gives you a couple different options, and this one has rope zipper pull on it. So. That one's the Go Fish and then the Splash Dot. These do have a slight taper towards the top is a little narrower than the bottom, so they're a little bit of a trapezoid shape. And this one has the light blue interior and there's the zipper as well. Okay, now the last one I have from Vera Bradley is the same style we just saw, but this one is in the Disney print and I think this was Mickey and Friends, I wanna say. I think it was but anyway so really fun Disney pattern unfortunately I have a headless Donald up here this one was ordered online I have Daisy's feet <laughs> but I do have an intact full Mickey on the bottom and he's centered so this part makes me very happy and the top part I just kind of have to deal with but it has little hidden Mickey heads all over the place like there are some in the flowers um, we got Pluto as well. This is my favorite with the two of them and there's a butterfly right there. But anyways, I got some good flowers. I got the centered Mickey. And then on the back of the bag, I do have, of course, I've got a full Donald. I've got Donald and Pluto and Daisy. And then there's Mickey again and all the pretty flowers and Daisy. So yeah, and butterfly. So anyways, fun pattern, but same, same style. And the inside of this one is a gray, which makes sense. Okay. Now changing gears, this next one is a grab and go style from Jujubee. This one is in Hello Kitty Bakery. Um, I also have this style in the Harry Potter Hogwarts Essentials. So I have these two from Jujubee. So let's talk about this one and then we'll compare side by side with the Vera and the Under Armour because I think those are probably my most realistic comparisons. So this particular bag does also have a pocket on the front. This pocket goes right where all the seams come together. So it kind of runs that, that shape. Then it has these two mesh pockets on the side, which are stretchy mesh elastic. But this pocket goes all the way to the middle and the bottom. So they are very big pockets. And when I say bottom, it goes to this bottom seam here with the arch, not the bottom bottom. Um, but both sides. So you can actually fit a nice big water bottle or um, a snack tower or you know different things in there as well which is great or your sunglasses quick access for your phone you know they'll stay in there pretty well you can see the end of this is pulled through so each end is looped so that when you cinch it pulls there so very secure but then you have your double ropes but that's pretty much it so pretty nice really fun patterns of course nice bright pink actually matches my outfit really well um, and then let's just look at the Hogwarts Essentials because it's fun. And this one actually is a little bit stiffer and I don't know if it's just normal fabric variations perhaps. But these materials on the grab and go are not the same as the normal like B-set material. So it is a more robust like lighten up from Vera Bradman. So I would say this material and this material are pretty much the same thing. They're like that heavy duty lighten up. Um, so size-wise, the top edge, you can see the Vera Bradley one is a good two, two and a half inches smaller. And then the bottom edge, they're the same height, or very close, they're about half an inch, half an inch difference. Um, but the width at the bottom is only like one finger width difference. So 
So basically the bottom line is you can see the Vera one tapers much smaller at the top and the grab and go is more straight edged. So you can kind of see where the difference is. Um, obviously the straps are different as well. And let's compare this to my previous favorite, which is my Under Armour one, which is the square shape. So let's compare this to Hogwarts Essentials. Okay, so the top edge, the Under Armour is a little bit wider, so about two fingers wide. And lengthwise though, when we put this top edge together, it's significantly taller. So you can see there the width difference, but significantly taller. And there is one other thing I forgot to mention about the Under Armour bag, and it's one of the reasons this has been my favorite, because it has this organization pocket, it does have gusset, it has a nice big bag, but then I forgot to show you this other side zipper pocket. And this is soft lined, so it is the perfect place for your phone or your sunglasses, your keys, whatever. Um, quick access right on the side of the bag. With some of my older versions, you had to dig down inside to get your phone. You can never get it before it stopped ringing. But anyway, so yeah, so this is probably still my top two would probably be these two because of the size and it has these excess capacity versatility pockets. But, but yeah, so that concludes the comparison. We've got knapsacks everywhere, back sack. Uh, grab and go, drawstring, uh, lots of names for these. Um, but that pretty much shows you the collection and review and comparison. So that's all I have for this one. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and your week is going to be even better. Best wishes. Don't forget to wash your hands. Bye for now.